The current series of Strictly Come Dancing 2021 is well underway and two celebrities have already been eliminated from the BBC competition. Last week, former Coronation Street star Katie McGlynn was sent home after landing in the bottom two with Sarah Davies. The week before, former EastEnders actress was eliminated after the judges chose to save Katie. However, according to an expert, Greg and Karen could be the next couple to be sent packing. Speaking to Betfair Casino, body language expert Darren Stanton believes Karen and Greg lack a spark. He said, unfortunately, these two lack the spark and bond that some of the other couples have. They gave away their lack of connection a couple of times and it is not looking too good for them. Last weekend, Karen and Greg performed a James Bond-inspired dance routine, and they received mixed reviews from the judges. Anton Dubik told them, you know it wasn't bad. I didn't mind it, I quite like it. Offering Greg some advice, the professional dancer continued, the thing I want you to improve in your dancing is this. Your top half is super. I really like you from the waist up. Under the waterline, it doesn't quite match to the top half. It's as though the legs trail along behind. While Craig Revel Horwood questioned whether Greg was leading Karen throughout the routine. For me, all the moves are there you just need to dance through them, he advised. When it came to the scoring, Karen and Greg received a total score of 26 from the judges. Darren also claimed BBC Breakfast presenter Dan Walker and professional dancer Nadia Baichkova could be at risk of elimination. The pair failed to impress the judges last Saturday night with their foxtrot. For Movie Week, the dynamic duo performed a Sleeping Beauty-inspired routine to Once Upon a Dream. While viewers praised the BBC Breakfast star for his stunning routine, Anton Dubik admitted he was disappointed by the performance. Speaking about the chemistry between Dan and Nadia, Darren explained, This is quite a strange dynamic because Nadia is a tactile person, but I think she feels awkward at times with Dan. He continued, I feel he stops himself from really going for it because he's worried about how he'll be perceived. If he actually lets go and allows Nadia to push him even more, I think they could do much better. Nadia really likes Dan, it's clear from how she is touchy-feely and warm with him and sometimes she looks at him in ways that are not reciprocated by Dan, much to her regret. I think Nadia has pushed him as far as he can go, and it appears like he's reached his peak. I'm predicting Dan will be the next one out of the competition unless something drastic changes. 